Hello and welcome to another video on the channel. I'm Omelus and today I will react to the top 10 Ronnie James Dio songs. This is a bit similar, uh, similar situation as in the Rage Against the Machine video. Since I said that I think I've reacted to this list already, since you know it's such a, you know, it's Dio, I mean, come on now. You know, I, th I thought I already reacted to him, but I believe I haven't, so I will do that now. Um, yeah, so there we go. Um, I've watched the list already like a, a couple of times, so there we go. You know, it's Dio, of course, so there we go. Big fan. Uh, so what's going to be on the list? Uh, we Rock, Holy Diver, of course, classic. Pretty much like his whole, you know, those first two albums are just amazing, you know. Some later albums too, uh, I haven't listed those in a while. Uh, his Rainbow Days, of course, Black Sabbath Days are pretty good too. Um, maybe something from Heaven and Hell, the, the title band, you know, the, the, the band Heaven and Hell. With the Heaven and Hell lineup, I believe. Well, um, I believe without Bill Ward, of course, obviously, because I believe he did drum on Heaven and Hell. Uh, by the way, what a way to go out on a career. Go out on Heaven and Hell, like fuck yes. Um, yeah, so, what else? Uh, Stargazer, of course, uh, yeah, that's, you know, spoiler alert, that's number one. Like, that's the greatest thing ever, I mean, come on up. Stargazer is like an eargasm of a, of a metal, hard rock, heavy metal song. More hard rock, but still, it's more like, cla it's classic metal. Um... Man on the Silver Mountain of uh, Richie Blackmore's Rainbow. Um, I believe that that's Long Live Rock and Roll didn't make the album, you know, the, the third and final real Rainbow album, if you know what I mean. Yeah, so there we go. Uh, some acts like that, or some songs like that, let's get into it. You're expecting some Dio, you're getting some Dio. Holy Diver. You're the star of the masquerade. Arguably the greatest vocalist in Mel. Like not now that I think about it, really. it might just be. Ronnie James Dio or Rob Halford for that matter. One of the two. And their most commercially successful songs. Uh, if you ask me, um, Dio or Black uh, or Ozzy Osbourne, Dio the vocalist, Ozzy the era. That that's pretty much the popular opinion I think. But some people you know only uh, acknowledge. Ozzy Osbourne and ignore Ronnie James Dio. Although the three albums that he had with Black Sabbath were all amazing. Heaven and Hell, amazing. Mob Rules, great. Dehumanizer, criminally underrated. underrated. Like, check out that album, that's a great album. Like, I did. In, initially, I didn't like or I kinda liked it, you know, at. Um, when I initially reviewed it, but it has really grown on me since then. Black Sabbath and more. Uh, oh, what is this? What is this? Uh, Neon Knights. Number 10, Neon Knights by Black Sabbath. Like, Dio is such a diverse artist, man. Black Sabbath, Rainbow, his own career, Heaven and Hell, like... Th this guy can be in any band for that matter, I mean, come on. Black Sabbath, Neon Knights was the last song composed for the Heaven and Hell. You know, I love you guy, man. Of course. I'm not really into metal right now, but, you know, I, I always love the, uh, Like, I'm more into, um... Well, I'm not gonna say that for the metal as right now, but I like some, you know, more mainstream music now. Like Rob and oh shit, I skipped it. I'm not saying it's better though, but I'm just more into that right now. I've just kind of overplayed metal. Written by 
five bassist Geezer Butler. The heavy metal track may have not taken a lot of time to write, but it sure packs a hell of a punch. Singer of Black Sabbath, Sabbath. I'm leaving we right here. I shouldn't hover on the keyboard though. Oh my key, my uh, my spacebar works again. Nice. Like I like I fucking ripped it out the last video or something, but it works again. Nice. Or it was like you know stuck. Fuck you, guy. Shove that spacebar up your ass. We want to listen to some Dio. Well, I always liked it when he did that with the microphone stand. That uh, you know that twist. There are like the small details that I like. Neon Knights. Number nine. Awesome song. Uh, we. No, no, no. Less than line? Stand up and shout by Dio. No. Stand, stand up and shout. Like pretty much his first two albums with Dio, with his you know, own career. Uh, I want to say first two Black Sabbath albums, but they're only gonna include Heaven and Hell, I believe. Uh, and the first three with Rainbow. That's pretty much peak Dio right there. Off the album Holy Diver, this 1983 song is one from the heart. With a flawless vocal performance from Dio and incredible auto riffs from Vivian Campbell. Oh, I was still. Well, I still wanted to look up the name Mike Campbell from the last video, but I didn't know why that name was so familiar to me. But that's the reason, uh, Campbell of uh, of Dio. It was I believe an asshole I've heard? Like he was on the on the classic. Um, he was on the classic Dio album, but he was an asshole. That's. That's the word I've heard. That's right. Uh, last in line. Yeah. Number eight. We rock. We rock. Like From the last in line. I was partially right. Number nine. 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 This ba this is basically the deal right there. I love this riff. Like there's one guy flipping out of hell, yeah. Last in line single can always get crowds going. And that's why it was often chosen as a concert closer at Dio shows. Number seven. Oh yeah, and this is uh, last in line. Yeah. Number seven, the last in line by Dio. I love this intro right here. Like, this is this is something that modern metal miss misses. You know, melody. Listen to this melody right here. I love this. Like, you know, you have some like very smooth, uh, great melodies and harmonies on on, on the track. You know, not harmonizing yet, but it's a great melody so far. And, you know, it, later it just goes so well with the music. And then it later just breaks down into that classic heavy metal Dio sound. I just love it, man. It's just great. Taking off the Dio effort of the same name. Like, uh, why was that guy pointing at that pizza kid? Like, what? Introduction. What even was that? Oh, shut up. Awesome. Awesome vocal. I don't, you know, when he gets out of the lift and, or, or the elevator, he comes out of the elevator and there is like, uh, you know, a fucking green limp grabbing for him, like, or a green vine. Like, what the fuck? 
Like, I don't get the music video right now. Like, it's low budget and it's so weird. Like, what is a music video right there? Like, I love the song, but what the fuck with the music video? Low budget, low budget. Uh, Man on the Silver Mountain? Number six, Man on the Silver Mountain? By uh, Rainbow from Richie Blackmore's Rainbow, 1975. Was it 1975? Dio is all the shit. <laughs> This is where he debuted, right? In 75. Uh, no offense to Dio fans, but Dio looks awful, you know, in his last years of life. He just looks awful. No, no offense, but he hasn't aged well. Like, that doesn't look awful, but it just looks dying. Like, God. Dio. Uh, what did I want to look up again? Yeah, yeah, Richie Blackman's Rainbow. Rainbow. I love that lyric. I just love the dreamy vibe of this song. Uh, yeah, this is Stars by Hearing It. Like, this is a charity single, but, you know, it's good. But, yeah, I, I'm not sure if it's, like, top 10 worthy, though, but, you know, I guess. Number five, stars by Hearing Aid. I haven't really uh, listened to the song yet, but all the metal stars are in there, you know, Rob Halford, Dio, Maiden is in there, I believe, Motorhead. I believe some Queen's Ride too. Jeff Tate. They're all in there. Yeah, Jeff Tate right there. <laughs> there are more guys in there, but uh, you know, I'm not that wide with uh, metal. I, I believe Alice Cooper is in there too. All the classics. Oh, that's a nice solo. That's nice. Like, I'm not sure if uh, Vivian, yeah, Vivian Campbell still on the guitar, but he was a great guitarist though, I cannot deny that. Oh, his eyes, mate. That's like uh, Nightmare Fuel. Uh, how's this song called again? You know, from the debut. It's something, yeah, Rainbow in the Dark. You know, I was like, it, something with Rainbow, yeah, Rainbow in the Dark. Uh, according to Wikipedia, Rising is power metal. Nah, kind of, not really. Oh, uh, and Long Live Rock and Roll is also power metal, not really, but whatever. It's influenced the hell out of power metal, but it's not necessarily power metal. I'm just mesmerized by the solos. Like Vivian Campbell is one hell of a dude. I'm mean, cool now. Oh, rip, rip the Oh, uh, yeah, Heaven and Hell from Heaven and Hell. Number three, Heaven and Hell by Black Sabbath. So, do sing up. Do me a run. You're a bringer of evil. I really, like, I didn't notice this before, but I love that they, you know, the top three is pretty much from all the three different bands Black Sabbath, Dio. Rainbow in that order, in that order too. Like, like it's funny that they, you know, they go older as the list progresses, 
and well, it's just nice to look look at this this uh, organization or you know this you know this order, I suppose, this order. Like it gets older, and it's pretty much like all of his peak songs from those bands. Like yeah, you know, Heaven and Hell and the upcoming two, which I'm not gonna spoil. But if you do know, you know, if you know your Dio, you pretty much know the two songs which I'm talking about. So there we go. And the title track of Black Sabbath's ninth record. Dio asks age-old questions about good versus evil. Fucking awesome. All while its perfect blend of hard rock and heavy metal makes you stomp your feet to an irresistible beat. Oh yeah. Tony Ayomi mate. Tony Ayomi, you know, the great arguably the greatest guitarist ever, Dio the greatest vocalist ever, like it just goes so well together, mate. You know, Bill Ward, amazing drummer, uh Giza Butler, just great songwriter too, great bassist. Hell yeah. I, I love that ending, like fuck yes. Like that's like that's fist bump of Ronnie James Dio. That's how you feel when you listen to that. Like he just hurt himself back. Yes. Uh, Holy Diver. Holy Diver by Dio. Holy Diver. If uh, he probably does though, but if Phantom, you know, is watching this. This Dio fucking destroys that Dio, if you know what I mean. I mean, come on now. And if we're gonna stoop to that level, this Dio too, you know, not this Dio, but this Dio in this country, which no one knows. Basically type in on YouTube Dio Machine, and you will probably find him though. It's like a, a rapper, like a balls. Fuck it, black rapper. You know, I don't want to be racist, but that's how he looks. Like, come on, like black uh, bald rapper who breaks up with his white girl. No, no, she won't black that. It fucking matters. Just listen to the show. Though. Like, I really love the the low budget drums on this uh, on the songwriter on this whole album. Like uh, yeah, and it's so when he was just walking to the camera, like yeah, this is a cheap ass music video, but it's fucking awesome. Um, what's the thing? What's the thing again? Oh, I forgot. Fuck. Yeah. Both exit a lot, by the way. That ending drum. Oh yeah, yeah. The drums are really great on this track. Like, they sound really cheap and you know low budget, but it just sounds like you know it's just a great drum sound. It's like impactful. It's heavy. It's like you know it's a real snare, <coughs> Lars. Like it sounds like a great snare in my opinion. Bible Black by Evan and L. The devil you know. Great uh, great Antrax song too by the way. Uh Falling Off the Edge of the World by Black Sabbath, Mob Rules. The Sign of the Southern Cross by Black Sabbath, Mob Rules. Wow 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 wow. This heavily inspired uh Kirk Hammett. Wah wow, Hammett. Kirk Womit, whatever. Oh, Womit sounds kind of gross, honestly. If you know what I mean. A Speed at Night by Dio, Less Lamp. Pretty much his first two albums. I don't do like bits of. Um, I was just, you know, something with the heart, I believe. I, I forgot. Uh, Dream Evil is good. Lock of the Walls is good. Uh, um, the Highways album, what's it called again? With that weird ass album cover. Um, I forgot, but I do like the record too. The Mob Rules by Black Sabbath. Mob Rules. 
They love a more blues record though, fucking hell. Like the sheriff put, put some, something on of that there, really. Oh, this riff is great. Like, I'm just gonna shut up, I'm just gonna shut up, uh, put the volume a bit higher. Let's fucking rock out, mate. Th this is one of the greatest songs in history, like, period. Not even metal, just ever. It's one of the greatest songs ever. Number one, Stargazer by Rainbow. I knew I'd sell myself for water. song about a wizard reaching for the stars could also be seen as a representation of the artist himself. As his so vicious fight paved the way for an influential brand of fighting metal. Everything comes together here in this rainbow number. Don't skip the fucking solo, Mark Marjo. Let it play. The drumming by Cozy Powell is absolutely powerful. Fuck, skip this. Add the Munich Philharmonic Orchestra and some larger than life lyrics. And you've got the ultimate Dio track. Fucking masterpiece. Do you agree with our list? What's your favorite Ronnie James Dio song? Don't talk to strangers. More entertaining top tens published every day. Be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Days of Babylon. Yeah, they should have added some uh, long live rock and roll on there. Like really, like more more of the third album, please. Maybe even Rising for that matter. Terror Woman, I believe that's that's a great song. I haven't listened to that album in a while. I believe there's a title track on there. I don't know. I, I really haven't listened to uh, to Dio in a while, but you know I'm kind of out of metal right now. But you know I do love Dio. Uh, let's look at the comments for a bit. Stars should not be on there, yeah, it, it is kind of out of place though, Stars. It's just a silly song. Songs like Gates of Babylon, Children of the Sea and I are not only far superior, they are some of the best metal songs of all time. Glad to see Falling on the Edge of the World, getting some love, though it's brilliant. Great comment, great comment by Michael Wallace. Pathetic list, most of the best ones are missing. Metal will never die. Uh, Mojo, you should not go beyond your ex expertise area and stop making lists of everything, that's stupid. But Watch Mojo isn't advanced in anything, so they just make lists of everything because views. Finally, the Stargazer getting the recognition it deserves. Well, it can already gets, but uh, there you go. The best metal, uh, metal vocalist of all time. I would be kind of pissed off if they, you know, put a Holy Diver above Stargazer because it just isn't better, but Holy Diver is still an awesome album, don't get me wrong, but Stargazer is like the, the greatest thing ever. Holy Diver is up there for one of the greats, but Stargazer just takes to a whole other level, I mean, come on now. I know it's difficult to please everyone, but what about the Temple of the King? Watch Mojo doesn't please anyone, they just please their pandering fan base. I'm a bit disappointed that Gates of Babylon isn't even uh, in honorable mention. Well, it was the, the ending slideshow though. So, so there you go. Or, or how do you say that? Uh, Babylon? Babylon? I believe you said Babylon though. I'm pretty sure. There's not a bad list, but making a Dio's top list is almost impossible because all of his songs are so amazing. You're damn right. <laughs> well, not all of his songs are amazing, but for the majority, yes. Sacred Heart should have, yeah, that's the album, you know, the follow up to the last album, which was kind of a disappointing, on, a disappointing album, honestly, but it's still good. Dio is better than Ozzy, no shit. Like, it's always difficult to break ground with these two because Dio has the better vocals, but Ozzy has the better discography, I think, because, well, even with his classic material, like, 
also you have like uh, like three back-to-back -back classics or well not back-to-back -back, but the first two and uh, no more tears you know a bark at the moon is awesome you know all of his like early albums are great whereas Dio you know his first albums are great and the rest is still pretty good but not anything on that level so but I actually prefer Dio though because a Dio's high was higher than Ozzy's high, so there we go. You know, and he was in, uh, well, yeah, yeah, you know, Rainbow, but Ozzy was in Black Sabbath, so. <laughs> it, it, you know, it's, it's kind of conflicting between the two, but I love them both. Stargazer, the best song, the Stargazer is the best song ever, no shit. Sabbath was better with Dio. That's kind of, that's kind of an unpo unpopular opinion. I would say. Black Sabbath was better with with Heaven and Hell than you know their last song, but that, you know that's kind of obvious in a way. So thanks for watching this video. I've you know I'm recording more videos, so I will so I have to continue. Thanks for watching this video. Uh, let me know what you thought about it. Love it, hate it. Let me know why. Uh, what is your top ten favorite Dio songs? I've been listening to every Dio album. I've listened to the first five albums, and I've yet to pick uh, up. His later material, like I believe uh, Sonic Highways is called that. I'm pretty sure there's no Sonic in there, but I don't know. So Sonic with Highways, I believe. Maybe it's right though. I don't know. Hi highway something. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to the highway to fucking hell for this shit. Fucking hell, man. But. I will check this out because you know I'm a, I love Dio, I'm a big Dio fan, that's why I accepted this. So thanks for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next video with all those things as usual and peace. Like, comment, subscribe or I will fucking murder you or even worse, send Dylan to your ass. <laughs> You're welcome.